I'm Emeril Lagasse, and welcome to the Essence of Emeril. You know, today I'm going to pay tribute to a vegetable that's always a special treat, no matter when it's served. I mean, I'm talking about artichokes. You know those bizarre-looking things that look like they just were flown in, especially on the Starship Enterprise? I mean, artichokes are almost as much fun to take apart as they are to eat. But before I get started on just cooking and... Well, let me show you how to trim them and cook them a couple of ways. You know, artichokes are used in a lot of New Orleans cuisine. And uh, I love artichokes. I love them steamed and simply just steamed or blanched and served warm with a little vinaigrette or just a little drawn butter for a great little appetizer. I love to trim them and clean them and use them for all kinds of relishes and fish dishes and chops. And they're so versatile. And the reason why I wanted to do some artichokes today is because it's getting that time of the year when you go through the market and you can find some really, really great deals on artichokes. I mean, they're relatively at certain points of the year, very inexpensive, a couple, couple for a dollar. I mean, they're really inexpensive. And when you get those, you can do all kinds of things with them. But first, you sort of got to know how to clean them. And uh, there are a couple of different ways that you can do that. Now, the first way is that you can simply use a pair of poultry shears or scissors and uh, you can cut them that way cut the tops of them they have pointy ends that sort of can stick you uh, sort of like little rose bush uh, bushes that uh, you want to be careful with your fingers because another way that you can also clean them from the stem down is you can just sort of pop the leaves like I'm doing here and the reason why you trim them and clean them is not so much because of the dark parts of the outside of the artichoke, but they're really tough. And the more inside the layers of these leaves of the artichoke, the uh, tender part of the artichoke is in the inside or the hot, which I'm going to show you in just a bit. So that's one way. Now, artichoke leaves can be... Also blanched, you can use them to uh, use for garnish and for uh, a thing in New Orleans that we do is make a spicy crumb mixture with some breadcrumbs and cheese and some spices and butter and sort of um, after they're blanched, you sort of put those, that little crumb stuffing inside of the leaves. You can bake them a little bit and have them for little uh, hors d'oeuvres. Another way that you can clean uh, the artichoke is you can just sort of Get to the bottom. That's the artichoke bottom right there. Uh, the stem, when cooked properly, the inside of the stem is also very, very tender. Most people don't think or even possibly realize that the, the stem is edible of the artichoke, and it certainly is. Those great crawfish shrimp boils that we have down there in New Orleans, we put a half dozen or so artichokes in them boils, and boy, you can just, the, the stem is very, very tender. Now. The other way, professionally, that I was taught to clean and trim an artichoke is strictly with a paring knife, what they call to tourne an artichoke. And that is just how I'm doing this, just like this. And then, basically, once it starts getting to the, more to the inside of the artichoke, as I'm doing here, then you could simply just cut the outer leaves now that's if you want to trim them and clean them up the inside of that is the artichoke hot which you after it's cooked you want to clean the inside of that out and that's when you get to the artichoke bottom these are the artichoke leaves this is the artichoke hot and this Way down there is the artichoke bottom. Now, if you don't need to trim up your artichokes, the reason why a good way that you'd want to clean your artichokes like this, particularly in a restaurant, and I want to trim this up a little bit more to show you. You see this outer green part here that we snapped the leaves off earlier? That's, that's not tender. So with your paring knife, you want to sort of trim that up a little bit. 
And a good reason of why, not only because of cooking, that uh, you would want to trim up your artichokes like this, is because then when they're cooked, basically all of this is just about usable for your artichoke dishes. A lot of times you can just boil them up uh, whole like this, and as I said, the stem, et cetera, are edible. And let me show you. With this water, obviously you want to add, you want to flavor this water up a little bit. I don't know if maybe your water, if you turn on the faucet, it comes out, has a little salt and pepper, essence, lemon juice in it. In, uh, in New Orleans, the water doesn't really have much flavor, so you want to add a little salt. And uh, you want to add some bay leaves. You want to add... Uh, 10, 20, 30, how many ever you like, peppercorns. And one of the greatest things with artichokes is lemon. Not only will the lemon keep the artichokes uh, from turning color, that's dark color, just like if you're peeling an apple and the air starts to expose the apple, it begins to start turning brown. Well, it's the same thing with an artichoke. And also, not only for that purpose, but it also gives the artichoke some tremendous flavor by uh, poaching them and cooking them in a little lemon and salt and peppercorns. I keep the whole lemon right in there. And of course, you can add whatever you like. You get that up uh, almost to a little boil, and then you add your artichokes in there. The other way, classically, that you might have seen sometimes is you might have heard of this classic technique called the blanc. And what that is is when you have a little flour and you pour water on the flour through a chinois or a fine strainer. And classically, particularly in France, they call that a blanc, which obviously that term that you can see what color the water is, it has that that white color, and the enzymes inside of the flour also help that. Now, this is like a little bob when you go fishing. You know those little bobs? So they're just going to bob up and down in that water. So you either want to put a little cover or a plate or a unchemical washed towel, cooking towel, that you can strictly just put right on top, okay? And that just leaves it right there and... When we come back, I'm going to show you what to do with a cooked artichoke, and I also got a fabulous New Orleans dish. Stay with me right here on The Essence of Emerald. We'll be right back. Thanks for staying with me on the Essence of Emerald. So we brought that up to a boil and we simmered our artichokes until they were fork tender. And if you trim your artichokes, you can simply just test the bottom of them of when they are fork tender. And now this is the fun part because this next dish has real New Orleans roots. I mean, it's, it's called Redfish Marcel or Fish Marcel. Isn't that a great name? Although I'm going to use some snapper today because that's what the fish market had this morning when we went there. Some beautiful snapper. So be creative. Use the fish of your region. This was born over 15 years ago at Commander's Palace where I was the chef for seven and a half years ago after a lady that worked there by the name of Marcel Benvenu. And Marcel Benvenu lives in the country of Louisiana. And, you know, sometimes you say to yourself, life is getting shorter and the world is getting smaller because Marcel right now today happens to be my new writer on a new book that we're working on and it's amazing how it all evolves because now I'm doing a dish 15 18 years ago that was created for her uh, just as a great person at Commander's Palace and it's with artichokes little mushrooms and I'm gonna show you the dish getting back to these artichokes now is when you can do all sorts of things with these artichokes. You can keep them to serve cold like such. Isn't that beautiful? 
drizzled with possibly a little bit of vinaigrette of your choice or favorite dressing. You can then take this piece in here. These, as the inside, the more that you go inside of the hot of this, and there's the hot, you want to take that out. Take that hot out. You see that? This is fibery and uh, not really, uh, this pot is edible, but these little fiber pots, they're really not, so you just want to discard those. Then, can you see that? We want to get that. Can you see the choke in there now? You see the choke in there? That's the choke. That's the bottom. Well, I'll show you what. If we break them, I don't want to really break them all apart, but if we were to break all of these apart, there's the little treasure right there. That's the artichoke bottom. You see that? But with the artichoke bottom, it has this little burr, this little fur here. That's what you want to sort of dig out, okay? And that's the artichoke bottom. So we'll put that artichoke bottom over there and discard our little burr. But these things right here are wonderful. You can serve these little things, I mean, these little hots right here with a little dipping sauce. Mmm, and they're tender and, oh. I love artichokes. Absolutely love it. Well, I love this dish too, which is why I'm doing it. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to prepare. I've got our artichoke bottoms that we're going to slice. See that? We're going to slice a couple of artichoke bottoms that we have. And then we have some of the pieces and leaves. And you see all that? We got that. Some simple shiitake mushrooms. Those shiitake mushrooms are cultivated mushrooms. Got some green onion. And what we're going to do is now that we've got this all pre prepped to do this great dish called fish marcel, Look at this beautiful snapper I got. Beautiful red snapper. I filleted out that red snapper. I want to check it, make sure that we don't have any bones that's inside of uh, the fillet of it. If you do have any of those bones, use a little needle nose pliers. You should just go to your local hardware store, get one of these, keep them inside of your knife drawer, and use these uh, for particular fish dishes. In case you get any little bones, you can just neatly just take them right out without destroying the whole flesh of the fish. Now, I got some seasoned flour that I'm going to season. It's with a little pepper, a little salt. I want to put a little bit of some spice in there, that Creole spice. Got a little egg wash. And now I'm going to do this dish. The first thing is I got a hot skillet, and I want to put some, some good oil in there. Get it hot. How is it hot? It's smoking. That's like an instant alarm right there. It's smoking. The pan is hot. I've got another one that I'm going to do my vegetables in. So this is why. I want to crispy this snapper up a little bit. you got to season it. Hey, you better be watching out there because there's going to be a test at the end. We're going to season it. We're going to make sure our flour is seasoned. And watch this simple way of cooking fish. Dredge the fish inside of the flour, both sides. Yes, I'm leaving the skin on. Yes, I scaled the fish. Dip the fish in just a little bit of egg wash. It's an egg that's been beaten, a little bit of water or milk, and back into the flour. You want to talk about simple. Back into the flour, right? Coat the fish, both sides, making sure that it's good and floured. There's a trick to this, and it's so simple this procedure, and you want to you wanna talk about a delicious fish and coating? Now, take your fish into the skillet, into the oil, okay? We want to saute that. All right. While that's sauteing, I've got another hot skillet. In this hot skillet, I'm going to put some more olive oil, a little bit of olive oil. It's also hot, not quite as hot as our, our fish. See that crisping up real nice? Whoo! I'm so hungry right now. Now, I've got that olive oil in this pan. Then what we're going to do is, these are uncooked. Our artichokes are cooked. So we're going to add some of the shiitake mushrooms. If you don't have shiitake mushrooms, you could use button mushrooms. You can use whatever you like. 
little salt, and a little pepper. Fantastic. Now, I've got my fancy fish spatula here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come on over. Well, you're going to just be amazed when you see this. See, that's what I mean. You just flip it over. Look at that. Doesn't that look already terrific? It's crispy. It's so simple. And you got to have some flour and at least an egg. Look how simple that is. Right here on the essence. Now, we're going to cook that. Make sure that it's cooked on both sides. And then we're going to just cook our mushrooms a little bit. Then, once they're about halfway cooked, we're going to add those delicious artichoke bottoms because Marcel loves them. A little green onion. And uh, we're going to use the juice of a lemon. And I have just a little bit of cream. If you've been in New Orleans, you probably know and you probably have had a lemon butter sauce or a lemon garlic butter sauce. Well, right before your eyes, right now, we're going to put in, fold in a little butter. Hey, I happen to like butter. If you don't like butter, then you don't have to do that sauce. Then just do the mushrooms. And what we want to do is we want to work that butter right into that sauce. Okay? Really simple. Because, Marcel, this is for you, baby. This is for you, darling. We're going to just take that great fish and we're going to put that right on our plate, right out of the skillet. It's cooked. And we just fold in that butter right in there, just like that. Let's make sure it tastes good. Mm, 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 mm. A little salt, a little pepper. And that, my friend, at least today, is what's called redfish, trout, flounder, whatever you have. I have snapper, Marcel after my good friend. And I'll tell you what, when we come back, I'm gonna take some of those artichokes and make a fabulous salad. Stay with me, don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You know, if you take an artichoke apart right, it makes a great foundation. I'm just peeling a couple of shrimp over here just to try to show you one of my foundations. I took one of those great artichokes, right? Watch this. I just sort of want to, as I did earlier, make that little flower just like that. You see that? And take out that choke again. And discard that. And then take out the burrs that are inside there in the artichoke bottom, okay? Just like that, real simple. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to lay that right on our little plate like that, okay? And we're going to make a little flour. Now, watch how simple this is going to be right here because what we like to do, what I like to do is this. You need something quick. You got some artichokes. You can cook the artichokes the day before. Watch this. You just could take some shrimp like this. Hey, if you don't have shrimp, you could use whatever you want. And make sure all the tails are off and you just sort of chop them up. I mean, we're not, don't put them through the processor. Just chop them up. Give them a little texture, right? So now they got texture. Now we want to give them some taste. So watch. I take lemon zest, lemon juice, okay? I take some shallot, and I take a little bit of chive, and a little bit of dill, and I take a little bit of sweet pepper, and I have that in there. And then, I take a little bit of mayonnaise, as we say, with some essence, season it really good. You see that? We just kind of toss all of those incredible flavors together. Now, here comes the easy pot, right here. I take a little bit of salt, on some greens, and I take a little bit of fresh pepper, okay? Just all kinds of greens, whatever greens you like. I pour some simple olive oil. Simple, simple olive oil. 
toss it, season it, rub it, massage it, talk to it, and then you're ready. I put some greens on the plate, simply like that. I take my shrimp salad, okay? I put it right inside of that, very simple. I drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and bam, you got a salad. What can I say? Simplicity, artichokes. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Emerald.